Hi dear students, welcome to this online class on structure and stability of benzene. You know that benzene has the molecular formula of C6H6 which shows a high degree of unsaturation because for a saturated hydrocarbon the formula is supposed to be C6H14 but here there is a difference of 8 hydrogen atoms which is equivalent to degree of unsaturation of 4 so benzene is likely to contain a large number of double bonds so we expect addition reactions for benzene but benzene doesn't show characteristic reactions of unsaturated compounds like addition reaction instead it undergoes substitution reactions so what make benzene stable what is the structure and what are the reasons for stability of benzene different theories came in this regard the scientist who put forward cyclic structure for benzene for the first time was Augustus Kekule. It was out of a dream that he suggested a cyclic structure for benzene. He suggested two isomeric cyclic structures which are called Kekule isomers or Kekule structures. But he could not explain the stability of benzene. Why benzene is stable? In spite of having three double bonds. And also carbon-carbon bond length was found to be all equal and that between that of a single bond and a double bond which was obtained from X-ray diffraction studies. He could not explain why bond lengths become equal. So that was the limitations of Kekule structures. After that came the resonance concept. According to resonance, you know that a molecule is represented by more than one Lewis structure and the actual molecule is supposed to be a resonance hybrid or an intermediate structure of various contributing structures. Here there are five structures, resonance structures or contributing structures shown for benzene of which the first two are Kekule structures which are most contributing towards the actual structure of benzene. The next three are called Divar structures which is less contributing compared to Kekule structures because the stability and energy of benzene is closer to that of Kekule structures. Due to resonance, the molecule attains stability and the amount of stability obtained due to resonance is expressed in terms of what is called resonance energy. Benzene is having very high amount of resonance energy that is minus 150.6 sorry one, minus 150 kilojoule per mole. Resonance energy is the energy difference between the actual molecule and the most stable canonical form or contributing structure that is Kekule structure here. After that came the valence bond our approach which explain bonding in, um, in molecules with the help of hybridization. What is the hybridization state of carbon in benzene? It's very clear that it is sp2 because you know if you consider the structure of benzene each carbon is associated with a double bond so that carbon will be sp2 hybridized. So all the six carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized and 
because you know carbon will have the configuration in the excited state 2s1 2px1 sorry we will show it here excited state of carbon is 2s1 2px1 py1 and pz1 and here this is the mixing sp2 hybridization so they form three hybrid orbitals with trigonal planar geometry with an angle of bond angle of 120 degree and using these hybrid orbitals the six carbons form the sigma skeleton each carbon use its two of the hybrid orbitals to bond with the neighboring two carbon atoms like this one and this one and the third hybrid orbital is used for overlapping with oneness of hydrogen interesting part is the hybrid uh, the bo uh, bonding uh, the formation of pi bond since it is sp2 there is one p orbital left out that is 2p z1 on each carbon which are parallel to each other so they will overlap laterally like this forming pi bonds and it is according to the concept of resonance all the p orbitals simultaneously overlap above and below the ring forming two lobes like this one here and one here two pi lobes are formed above and below the sigma skeleton or plane of the ring and this pi electrons are delocalized it's called the pi electron ring delocalized pi electron ring and it is due to this delocalization that benzene becomes stable according to this vbt then so even though benzene is having three pi bonds pi electrons due to resonance is completely cyclically delocalized making it very stable so it resist addition reaction instead undergo substitution reaction finally molecular orbital theory how we explain the stability of benzene here we consider only the pi mmos formed by the six p orbitals of each carbon atoms as we have seen in vbt how the pi orbitals are formed pi bond is formed by lateral overlapping of the p orbitals on each carbon so since there are six p orbital on the six carbon atoms they will form six mos right according to mot number of mos formed is equal to number of aos combined so there will be out of which three will be bonding mo and three will be anti bonding mo now in each 2p z orbital there is one electron so how we fill these electrons we can take the mo diagram you can see the 6p orbitals shown here these are the 6p orbitals shown here one electron each on each atomic orbital 2p z and they form 3 mos uh, 6 mos 3 mos shown here that is bonding mo 3 mo shown above that is anti bonding mo and how we fill electron according to the rules that is police exclusion principle hunt's rule of bo principle etc we will fill electrons like this we fill two electrons in the pi uh, psi 1 or pi 1 mo then the third electron fourth one here then pairing here pairing here now electrons are over six pi electrons are there it is filled in the all the bonding mos there is no electron to be put in anti bonding orbital so according to mot benzene is stable because of the closed bonding shell of delocalized pi electrons or we can say benzene is stable because all the bonding mos are completely filled and there is no electron in the anti bonding orbital 
that is called the uh, sextet aromatic sextet in the case of benzene so benzene is stable due to this a kind of stable mo configuration according to mot so that's about structure and stability of benzene thank you